Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you're all doing well out there. Today, we're going to be doing another video on Gran Turismo 2. And this time, it's all about making the game a little bit more challenging. Yeah, that's right, so you can't actually increase the difficulty levels by standard means on Gran Turismo 2. But I'm going to be showing you a cheat code which you can hopefully use yourselves, that you can use to make the game much harder. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't think any of the races on Gran Turismo 2 are particularly challenging. Even the historical Rome circuit with the, uh, the GT40, or should I say GT40, isn't even that hard despite it having uh, you know, a big reputation and you know, people making memes out of it, me included of course. Even then, it's not that difficult to beat. I think the only exception is when the Vector M12 appears on the Trial Mountain Endurance race. Uh, which is usually limited to 295 brake horsepower. But of course, this only appears due to a glitch, or well, at least a mistake in the game's programming, and it's only available on the original North American version as well, so if you have any other version of the game, you can't even encounter it. So with this code, basically, it makes the AI much, much tougher to beat. So if you want a new challenge on Gran Turismo 2 and you want to freshen it up, give it a try. If you are still using real hardware, like for example an actual PS1, then you will need a cheat disc or some other kind of cheat device to make this work. However, I do recommend looking at an emulator if you haven't got one already. I'm using EPSXE here, and I'm using PSX Emulation Cheater to actually be able to use cheat codes with uh, PS1 games. And what I'll do as well, I'll put some instructions in the video's description if you haven't got an emulator set up already and or if you haven't got PSX Emulation Cheater set up already. Um, I'll also put the codes in the description. Now bear in mind that depending on the, uh, the version of the game that you have, you will probably need a, a slightly different cheat code. So I'll try and convert them into all regions and all the versions of the game that I possibly can. So hopefully the version of the game that you have will be covered there. But anyway, let's, let's take a look at this in action. So, I mean, I thought I would do a race on uh, Historical Rome. I've actually already got my GT40 lined up. Yes, I'm going to be using the GT40 against the GT40. If you can't beat them, join them. Uh, well, we'll have to see if we can actually beat them. I've actually already powered this up to 652 brake horsepower, which is actually beyond the race's normal limits. Now, you can probably... I reckon you could potentially beat the GT40 with slightly less horsepower. So if you want to power it up a bit less than I have here, then give it a go. But I'm going to show you, even with the maximum horsepower for this car, just how challenging this race can be um, <laughs> with the code switched on. Okay, let's head over and start the race. Oh yeah, as I mentioned, of course, yeah, this, um, this car's brake horsepower um, is now beyond the event's limit, so I'm actually using another code, which I will also put in the video's description. Um, basically, it allows any car to play any race, so it actually bypasses any specific car types that you need to enter a race, for example, like FF cars in the FF challenge. Uh, and in this case, um, it actually bypasses the, the amount of horsepower that you can have. Um, so you, basically, you can enter any race with whatever car you want, essentially. So, let's give it a go.
So, unfortunately, when I was actually recording this footage live, my microphone decided to go mental and just record really crackly audio. So now I'm in the kind of weird position where I'm kind of shoutcasting my own video, but, you know, these, these things happen. So, anyway. As you can probably see, the, um, the GT40 actually started in 5th position there, which is the ideal scenario for us. Obviously it can't start in 6th position because that space is exclusively occupied by the player. So yeah, the best we can hope for is it to start in 5th place and obviously then it takes longer to get through all the other cars. So at this point I was just trying to pull out as big a lead as possible really. But as you can see when I, uh, I just looked behind myself there, you can see that the GT40 is already closing up on us. So it doesn't take it long for it to actually clear out all the other cars. Uh, I actually messed up that corner there. I was trying to defend the inside, but ended up just driving straight to the walls. <laughs> Not recommended. To be honest, I was actually having a bit of trouble driving this car um, because when it has 652 horsepower, obviously it's way more to deal with. I'm used to just driving the stock GT40, to be honest. So yeah, putting this much horsepower in it actually really made it understeer and oversteer, so yeah, it's quite challenging, and I kept out breaking myself a lot as well. So, as you can see, the GT40 is so fast, basically we had to just get, get our elbows out, fully send it up the inside there. I wouldn't usually race, you know, dirty late, see, there you go, another bit of understeer there. Um, but with this code, and on this particular race, you kind of have to. You really can't afford to just drive cleanly for at least 100% of the time, uh, otherwise you're just going to lose. Because I think how this code works is, um, the AI do seem faster on the straights, but they also notably seem faster in the corners. just seems like <laughs> that's another, ex another example of a full send going on there. Uh, yeah, they just seem really, really quick in the corners. It's like they're on rails or something. I think that is like the main difference uh, with this code on compared to not having any codes on at all. But here we go, coming to the end of, of lap two almost now. So we are ahead at this point, but then I absolutely hate braking for this corner. The AI, <laughs> the GT4 actually gets its own back there and hits me up the ass and forces me wide. So I just shove mine right at the inside of the final corner and there we go so we are actually going to win this race finally and it took me about 10 attempts so yeah guys let me know in the comments if you if you managed to try this code out uh let me know what races you enter let me let me know how you got on with it for me it brought a whole new challenge to gran turismo 2 and it really kind of freshened up the experience for me also as you'll see um during this uh well not a replay but the, uh, the cooldown after the race, you can see how it's not just the GT40 that this code affects of course, it's every car in the race. So you can see the Lancia Stratos is actually going to pass us here. So this is like normal AI driving versus AI driving with the cheat code on. And as you can see, there's just absolutely no chance. The GT40 is obviously the faster car, but the, the Stratos, as I say, it's that cornering speed that you really, really notice. Especially look around there with this code on set. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video guys, and I'll see you next time.